So what's up guys? Welcome to the Piston Slap channel. I'm Robert and today we got Octo with us again. And just doing a little uh, easy peasy riding. Figured do a little after work uh, commute out here to initial point. And uh, he's learning. He said uh, we got on the pavement a little bit and he goes, yeah man, about 45 miles an hour is as fast as my bike will go. He doesn't have a speedometer but it's about as fast as... I don't know. I, I feel that a two-stroke should go a lot faster than uh, 45 miles an hour. Yeah, I know it's a 200, but I guess, you know, let's not be uh, a little uh, uneducated about it. It could depend on what kind of gearing they put on the bike. But he has no lights, and I told him, you know, I want to go out and venture out farther. I got lights. That's, I love night rides, guys. Love, 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 love night rides. This is going to require your guys' input and how you feel, um, your feelings or whatever, guys. Um, especially those of you that have a YouTube channel, guys. What I'm looking for is those of you guys, maybe even those of you that don't have a YouTube channel, maybe just chime in here and if you, and just, let's say for instance you guys did have a YouTube channel, and I almost wrecked right there, um, but you get the guy that says, hey, uh, subscribe to my channel, blah, 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 you know, whatever. I've had that just maybe one or two times on my channels, and I feel, I feel bad because a lot of the times they, they subscribe to my channel for whatever reason. Hopefully it's because they like my channel or they like my content. Or they like, you know, the way I do my moto vlogs or how-to videos, whatever it is. Um, but when they reach out and say, hey, throw me a subscribe, I've subscribed to you. Um, I feel kind of weird about it, guys. Because a lot of times, I know it doesn't cost me anything. But when I subscribe to somebody's channel... I want to like their content, if you know what I mean. What are we doing back there? Just making sure you didn't a couple rocks and stuff. Um, when I subscribe to somebody's channel, I feel like I wouldn't be doing them any uh, any good if I if it's something I don't want to watch or I have no interest in. You know, like say um, say a Food Network guy. Um, my turn. Did I miss my turn, guys? I think I did. Um, so anyway, back to topic. Um, say, for instance, um, Home and Garden or Food Network or whatever it is, subscribe to my channel. I would be forever grateful that they did that. Because I'm grateful for anybody that subscribes to my channel. Now, for those that like a home food network or whatever, I'm not really interested in watching people. Hey, there's my trail. Um, and when I say trail, I mean literally. It's it's a two track. Um. not interested in food stuff so I, I don't typically go on YouTube to watch food stuff occasionally I might dabble in the uh, you know like if I'm cooking something or there's a certain dish I want to make and I'll uh, I'll look it up on YouTube on how to prepare it or something that's about as far as I go with food on YouTube because it makes me hungry <laughs> and all I got in my cabinets is ingredients I don't have food Block. So when somebody's like, hey, subscribe, I I want to sub them, and like I said, I know it doesn't cost me anything, but why sub somebody that you're not going to watch? You know, and I've got a boatload of people that I'm subscribed to that I feel that, you know, are more in tune to what it is I want to see. <laughs> That's kind of trippy at first. Alright, he made it. 
So that's um, what I'm wanting to, I guess, ask you guys is what do you feel when people do that on your channel? Hey man, throw me a sub. I've subbed you. you know, I'll check. I mean, I'll definitely check your stuff out. And if I mean, you ask, hey man, check out my channel, and if you like it, subscribe. Definitely, I'm more apt to do that than I am if you just say, hey, subscribe to my channel. Which I still will check your channel out. But if it's something I'm not in tune to or interested in watching, and I won't, I, I'm not going to give up on you on your one video. Uh, I'll check a couple, a couple, two, three videos, you know, and I'll browse through them, check your channel intro, stuff like that, to see if it's, you know, if it's, you know, some, we all make bad videos. Um, so I take that into account that maybe, maybe that one video I clicked on wasn't your greatest video. That's what I do with that. When people do that to me and say, hey, sub my channel or hey, check out my stuff, I'm more willing to check your stuff out and see if it's what I like. I'm going to throw you a sub. And, you know, and it's just one of those things I feel bad when I go back to my YouTube channel and it says, you know, 99 videos of uploads in one day. And I got to watch. And I don't have to watch, but, you know, I watch all those videos or try to so I don't know guys that's what the comment section below is for on this one uh, I just kind of curious hey uh, you know what do you guys think about that now let's uh let's take this to a brighter note guys um, you're probably by the time you're gonna see this video there's probably gonna be eight to ten inches of snow right here where I'm riding. Oh, he's right behind me. It's getting better. So, with, uh, with that being said, uh, a lot of my videos have been, you know, I've drawn them out and saved them for the winter time because, well, I'm going to be doing how-to videos if you haven't already seen those. And with the how-to videos, I'll probably just dump those out on the on the web as I get them done. <laughs> that was a hole. Oh. So a lot of things are going on right now behind the scenes at the on the Piston Slap channel. Not only are we doing videos and stuff like that, but the family things. Um, if you watch or follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or any of that nonsense nonsense it's not nonsense but if you follow me on any of it um you'll know that um i've done up my garage a little bit for you guys for the winter uh, mainly because last year or this last winter when i was working on the 636 doing how-to videos i had a lot of people saying um my videos were too dark so, of course, by then, all my videos had already been filmed, shot, edited, and uh, set into uh, motion on YouTube. So, I didn't really have any recourse as to what to do. I mean, you can always just crank up the brightness, right? And, uh, hopefully, this winter, when I do my how-to videos, um, it'll come out real nice for you guys. You're real nice like. Now it's getting to the point where I'm having struggling with reading the train guys. Just not enough light with this little guy. I mean it's only like what 20 watts. <laughs> I'm sure the camera is it's dark as heck. Just gotta watch out for the dang gopher holes. And your front tire. Take five guys. I got it.
Now, like I say, if the gate's open, I'm one of those guys that say close it. I won't let the cows out. Cause there would be no cheeseburgers for you guys. Cause all the cows would be out, not where they need to be. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down here, guys. I wanna say uh, thanks for joining the Piston Slab channel for this little nighttime ride. I'm Robert. See you guys next week. You all right, buddy? Yeah, man. All your legs are attached. Uh, that rock. That rock got gotcha. you. Rock got me, man. It's hard in the dark, huh? Yeah. Ooh, I hit my knee on the other side of my fucking knee pad. <laughs> Ow. Get you where it doesn't work to both. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. I don't, I don't know what would be the easiest way out. Oh, I better pick up my bike. It's the beauty of two-stroke, nothing. <laughs> There's no oil. Uh, Do you need help? I got it. I got it. We're almost made it to the top of the hill. Yeah, we're at the top now. It's just basically go along the ridge and drop over to the truck. Yep. Yeah, dude, I just couldn't see it. I didn't see it. It was so dusty. Yeah, when I came up it, I didn't even realize it, and then I started hitting, and I'm like, wow, this is a little rough. Dude, you, because you kicked up a good dust, good amount of dust, and, and then I saw it go up, and so I think what I did is instead of standing up, I sat down, and the bike just, whoop. Uh, we made it, though. <laughs> yeah. We're almost home. <laughs> almost. First crash, I knew it was going to happen.